Welcome to Office 2010 video number 22. Hey, uh, this video is we're studying Excel and in this video we're going to talk about the math symbols and math order of operations. This is so we can create formulas and get the correct result. Now we've already seen some of these operators. We've seen plus and minus and division. I don't think we've done multiplying exponents or parentheses yet. All right, so those are the symbols we use from our keyboard to create our formulas. Um, but now we need to learn about order of operations. Now, in America, we're supposed to learn this in what, third to fifth or sixth grade or something like that. But most of us don't. So when we get to something like this, 2 plus 6 times 2, some of us will go 2 plus 6 is 12. I'm sorry, 2 not times, 2 plus 6 is 8 times 2 is 16. That's one possible answer. Or some of us will say, no, 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 I'm going to do the multiplying first. So 2 times 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So the question is, which one is it, 14, 16 or 14? Now, live in the classroom, I always have people raise their hands. And some people say 16, some people say 14. There can't be two answers. <laughs> because math, no one would be able to do math if there was. So there's an agreed on order of operations. We do all parentheses first, all exponents, then multiplication and division left to right, and then adding and subtracting left to right. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is one way to memorize this. All right, uh, so let's prove to ourselves um, that 14 is actually the correct answer. I'm going to say equals 2 plus 6 times 2. What's going to happen? It's going to do multiplying first. That's 12 plus 2 is 14. I'm going to hit Enter. Now let's prove to ourselves that that formula result, a calculating formula, there's our formula up there, Excel actually does the multiplying first. And the way we're going to do that is we've looked at the home, the insert, the page layout, but now let's look at the formulas ribbon tab. Over here in formula auditing, lots of cool things, but this is the coolest. Evaluate formula. It'll actually show you step by step how Excel calculates a formula. Now, you can go ahead and click that. There's a keyboard shortcut, and it's tough, like in super cool. Alt T U F. Alt T U F. And I always remember it because it's tough. All right, now look at that. It will, the evaluator will underline the thing it's about to calculate. And multiplication is underlined. I click Evaluate button or Enter. Now it's going to do the plus. So it does the multiplying first. I hit Enter. I can see that 14. Now what if, in fact, you did want to do the adding first? No problem. The order of operation says parentheses come first. So what are we going to do? Equals and put the addition inside the parentheses. Two plus 6, close parentheses. We're forcing that addition times, that's, I'm using the asterisks on the number pad, and oftentimes I use the, uh, it's kind of easier to do, instead of using shift 8 for multiplying, you can use the number pad. I just wish they had the equal sign and these parentheses on the number pad too. So no problem, we have our expression. That'll force this first, so 2 plus 6 is 8, times 2 is 16. Let's look at another example. And the reason why we need to know our order of operations is because Excel knows them. And if we really want adding first, we have to program it in properly using parentheses. Here's a great example, a common mistake in business. We have inventory. I actually forgot to put something here. Uh, I want you to type uh, price. And then 5, Control Enter. Actually, I typed price, and then I hit tab, and then I typed uh, 5, and then control enter to keep that cell highlighted. Now, these are quantities, so we can leave 10, 5. But this is a dollar amount, so I want to show a dollar sign and two decimals. Now, we've learned this keyboard shortcut um, already a few times. Control 1 opens format cells. And then we click on the number tab, and I'm going to go to currency. Click OK. Now, our formula, ooh, and I want to highlight both of these cells and then do all borders. So home, font group, all borders. Now our formula, 
for calculating cost of goods sold. That's how many we sold. Now we started with 10 items. We sold five of them. So the difference, which is 10 minus 5, that's the number we have left on our shelf. And we're going to change this to, uh, how about cost? We'll not use price. Price is what you charge the customer. We're going to do cost. This is what we paid for it so that we can value our inventory. 5 times 5 should give us 25. But here's a common mistake that people make. So we're going to do equals that minus this. Okay, because that we got to calculate the difference between the begin inventory and end inventory. And then we're going to multiply times 5. Negative $15. You mean we, we have stuff on our shelf and it's gonna, we're going to have to have pay money for people to come and take it away? Not, well, maybe in some cases, but not this case. If this is a case of order of operation mistake. So I'm going to click in the cell and hit F2. Sure enough, we need to force the subtraction first. So I'm going to click in this cell, open parentheses, click right there, edit mode, close parentheses. There we have it. We're going to force subtraction before multiplying. So now we have our 25. Very important uh, order of operations and math uh, for formulas. I'm going to click over here on the sheet Math 2. There's some examples here you can practice with. And uh, there's an answer over here. So back on this Math 2, you can go ahead and do these. Now this is just, notice we're, we're in essence typing numbers into cell, so I would do this problem like 3 plus 3 times 2. You'd never really build formulas hard coding numbers like that, but for this practice it's perfectly all right to do that. And then there's one over here where you want to practice with the cell references. This little formula here actually duplicates the math that we did over in our PMT function to calculate a monthly payment. Now one last thing, these are exponents here. I do want to come back over to Math 1 and just show you an exponent problem. Instead of doing 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that means four, uh, the number 2 multiplied by itself 4 times, we can do that more simply. I'm going to add some formatting here. We can do that more simply by uh, using the caret that right there, an exponent. Because when we do exponents, we have a base, which is the 2. And then the superscript number, which is the exponent, tells us how many 2's we need to have to multiply by each other. So here's how it would work. By the way, what is it? 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. Instead of doing it the long hand, we go 2 and caret 2. And what did I do? Oh, I, I should I made a mistake here. Can anyone see what it is? Enter. I forgot the symbol that tells Excel equal sign. Hey, that tells Excel I'm going to do a formula. All right. Um, in our next video, we're going to look at a bunch of different functions. All right. See you next video.